let's. So this is a Dynasty Diamondback rougher. What's cool about it is you see how you have these cuts in the actual um, flute, the actual cutting edge of the end mill. And what this does is as that chip starts to form, it's a chip break. So it instead of having a one inch long chip, it breaks them up into these little guys. And what I was able to do is clear your chips faster so they don't stay on the tool or near the tool. They evacuate quick because it, you want chip evacuation. You want to get that chip out of there as quick as you can. Typically for aluminum, three flutes good. Four flute, if you get any more higher than four flute, you can kind of run the risk of recutting that chip, which dulls the end mill. We see all these little chips. Now, if you watched the other video previously, you'll notice I was running that coolant wide open for when I was doing the pocket on the other part. That's because the chip is so long and so has so much more mass, it's hard to clear all those chips out as a cutter is, is cutting the material away. But with the, these, they're so light, it's nothing. It's, it's like throwing pixie dust. I mean, you can look, it's, it's all over the, the mail, but this is, this is awesome. All in here. This is actually from the Shear Hog when I was doing a facing, but this is awesome. I'm, I'm really loving this. Now I'm about to use an uncoated uh, Viper, which is a finishing mill, just to go ahead and, and finish the contours, finish this material here out, finish this pocket out, uh, and do start doing the, uh, the, the radius right here. So, awesome, awesome. So this is the finish, finishing operation of the actual pocket itself. We gotta put a radius on the vertical edges. And you'll see that here in a few moments when it switches over to the right side of the right slot. I'm gonna start making that, that radius. You see that radius come up, the second radius right there. So to show about the chips, now this is a very thin chip, but it's still a chip. And the rougher basically takes takes this chip and cuts it down to make those little teeny tiny guys, as I showed earlier. But you can see the radius right here. But look at that finish. That is freaking awesome. I love it. Now we're gonna drill six holes and then tap, chamfer it, and we're done. So this part, and I need to get some coolant proof calipers, so I gotta be careful as far as my coolant. And these are getting wet. It's supposed to be five inches. Boom. Now, these calipers are accurate to plus or minus one thou. So, I'll take that. Plus or minus one thou, all day, every day. Hey guys, so now we're gonna drill the holes and now we're gonna tap them. Uh, the tap is, is gonna go down 0.375 or 375 thou. So, I'm going to give the drill point is 60 thou high, so I gotta add that. And then I'm gonna give myself an overall 20 thou of, of, uh, of clearance between the flat. Uh, so imagine a drill having the drill point cut off 20 thousandths from that to the bottom of my single point thread mill. So let's roll. Alright guys, now we're going to do a single point thread mill. 
Uh, this is going to be for quarter 20. Um, this exercise calls for a number 10, but since I don't got a number 10 thread mill, we're just going to run it with a quarter. This is just a, a practice scrap piece that I have. It's what I use, it's what I do when I get new tools to test them out. I just run my program that I already have uh, that's more or less just going to be a scrap part. is a great great finish turned it up we're running two passes at 80 thousand depth of cut 4,000 rpm and 32 inches a minute we're going to have a finished pass of 10 thou um, basically we're all thing we're doing is taking off that last little bit of layer of material that we're using to hold on to in the vise in the first off now we'll just go back and then we'll do a um, a chamfer after we get done removing the back material. So you can see on the far right side, we still got a little bit of hang off, and this finish pass will take care of that for us. Now we'll just ta -da. Now we'll just go and chamfer it. We'll get rid of uh, this little rough edge right here, and that will be it. So you see the rough edge right here. That chamfer will take care of that. All that.